y'all welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is Shamika with all of Shamika and we are back with another video if it's your very first time clicking on the video on mine then welcome if you want my other book of these hey boo okay we are back we're back we're back we're back I have tried to record this video <laughs> not once not twice but three times three times and every single time the energy was just better and better and better so i would say third time's a charm because i've tried three times already but we're just gonna say four times a charm and y'all finally get the video it's late but it's here in this video because i recorded it so many times i decided you know what i'm gonna just stuff the money in these little envelopes and they're gonna have to get the first sinking fund of the year stuffing with paycheck one for the year because i'm not about to keep recording this over and over and over again okay so that's what we doing this is my sinking fun video for paycheck one also known as the first video of the year for sinking funds and i cannot be any more happier than i am now um First, I'm going to apologize for Bella in the background barking. That means the kids are down there playing with her, even though I said I'm recording. But they don't care. So, in my savings challenges, the first ones that we're going to look at is the penny challenge. That is a challenge I plan to do every year. So, in that one, we're going to give myself $70. And I normally just have a tracker or have a spreadsheet that I look at. And I know how much I'm going to divide up. So, that is going to get... 70 i'm only gonna put 50 i'm only gonna put 50 dollars towards this and the other 20 is gonna go towards my kids savings which means now i'll be able to put 50 dollars towards their savings a piece so that's what we're going to do so this should not have been 70 in the first place i don't know what the heck where i got that from that must have been a typo and i didn't really realize it until right now so then for my 52 week challenge, I'm using the Taylor Budgets 52 week challenge in the very front, which is the first challenge. And I'll show you all how I break, I broke that up. I know it looks crazy, but it makes sense to me. I promise over here. I decided that I was going to just break everything up January through December. I was going to start with my highest numbers first, because technically in the beginning of the year, you have a little, typically you have a little bit more money. So I wanted to make sure I was um, able to break that up. So I'm going to do 165 for this month total. So 165 for the whole month is going to render me 8250. But I just decided to go ahead and put 150 this paycheck because it was already broken down that way. And then next paycheck, I guess it's only going to be just $15. Um, or if you have fifteen dollars for the next paycheck, so that's what we're doing. The number for my for the for my um, challenge that I chose was three dot three number three. So I went ahead, totaled everything up, and I used the highest number as the um, at the very top. So that is what I'm doing there, and it rendered me to put one hundred and sixty five dollars towards that savings challenge for this year. That savings challenge is definitely going to be saved in my account. Um, that's another change that I'm going to incorporate this year because last year I used it for our trip and I need to replenish what I had because although the money was saved, I spent it. So that was not good on my end. And so I'm just learning from my mistakes and my um, and how I do things. So that will be changed for this year. I am going to save that money and put it towards an actual account and everything so one dollar five dollar challenge i made these envelopes but i was in hobby lobby the other day and i used my allowance to buy this cute little thing i don't know how much money is going to hold in it but it's got some one dollar five dollars in here from just a couple months into a couple of weeks and days into the year and this was 9.99 and i really really like it a lot it was so cute and it fits right on my desk 
So I'm just going to stuff that until I can't stuff it anymore. And then I'll take it out, put it somewhere safe, and then start stuffing it again. So as it fills up and gets super full, I'll show you all. But that's why I'm going to keep my $1, $5 challenge. So really the only thing that gets housed in this binder is going to be my penny and 52 week challenge. And that money does go into the bank into a separate savings account and that's where i'm going to keep it i don't have any plans for these two and i plan to just use this money to put towards my emergency fund and just saving in general so it's not going to get used this year so that's the savings challenges moving along we're still going to be using our taylor budgets book also so up first is going to be our we'll do our heart sinking funds first so with that being said heart sinking funds abc mouse at the end of 2021, we did have $60 left over, and that is what we have rolling into 2022. I am not going to stuff this anymore. This is completely paid off for the entire year. So ABC Mouse is completely done. My son did get a gift for Christmas from his grandparents, which was like an educational type thing called Osmo. So depending on how he likes that and if he even touches ABC Mouse, we may end up not having to pay for it again come August, but we'll play it by ear because I thought I didn't need it and then he wanted to start playing it again and he's very like education focused, so he really likes doing that kind of stuff. Next up is Amazon Prime. As of today, Amazon Prime still has not come out of my bank account, but it is $120. So once that does come out, we will have the money left over, but we have $155 in there rolling over from 2021, which means we, um, we still have the 155. I am going to add $5 to this account for my Amazon Prime. That is the only subscription I have that I really need to pay for. And so we're going to just put one dash one and we're going to do deposit and we're going to put $5. So now we'll have $160 towards this fund. So we're just going to add us a five. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a five back and just grab a 10 and make this 160. And then once that money comes out, we'll be able to just keep on trucking with it. Next up is Christmas. We did have money left over from Christmas. I know I wanted to completely wipe it out, but I thank God I did not wipe it out. Um, so in Christmas, we did end the year with $320. And I hope you can see this. I hope it's not too far away. Um, but we did end the year with $320. Maybe my light is too bright. Is it too bright? That's okay. Y'all just want to see the money anyway. <laughs> so $320. I am going to add $60 to this right here. We do have a goal of $1,200 again for Christmas. So for that, we are adding $60 for Christmas. So that's going to leave us with $380. Well, that's going to put us at $380 to start our first paycheck. So $50 and a $10. So now we have 380. Next up we have is my Disney cruise, AKA my daughter's birthday, AKA our 2022 trip. That is what this is. And in that we ended the year with 1216, so $1,216. And we are going to do our full deposit for that trip. And that trip is going to get $150 in there for the first. So $150, which is going to put us at $1,366. So $350. 60 65 66 so 13 for our disney cruise and we do have to pay that deposit here in july so that money is just adding right up next up we have is our emergency fund and this is in alphabetical order if you're asking um it is in alphabetical order we ended the year with 36 18 so for this, we are going to do a hefty deposit and our deposit for our emergency fund is going to be $200. So 
So that's gonna put us at, I'm not mathing right now, y'all. 38.18, so $3,118. And that's what we're doing for that. <clears throat> Three, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So thirty-eight, eighteen. My goal for the year is eight thousand, and it's just an amount. My ultimate goal for the emergency fund is twenty-one k. But I want to be realistic for this year. I want to be able to save that. If I can save it all this year, by any means necessary. But I will definitely do my best to try to reach my 8,000. I like to set myself a minimal, like, attainable goal, a smart goal, instead of going, like, crazy. Knowing that right now my income, this is the only income I have, which is my military income. I'm not active on Etsy. I'm not active enough on YouTube. So I can't really go crazy with my goals because I have to be smart about it and knowing, like, okay, this is what I can handle. So let's start with the ideal amount. And then as time goes on, if I meet that minimum goal, it helps me in my little brain, this little brain of mine to know, okay, you reached that goal. Now go even bigger and go even harder next time. So that is why I did 8,000 for the year. In our family vacation, which is not happening until 2023, the reason I have, that's getting 141. And last year, we ended the year with $200. And the reason that it's such an odd number is I, if you saw my sinking fund setup video, then you know why the number is so eyeball, like 141. It's because that's the amount of, that's how much I need over the next 17 months to save uh, for that trip. So that is going to be 341 is what we have going towards that fund. So that's the reason for the oddball $141 <clears throat> next up is ink this one's not gonna get anything but I had $116 left over this is gonna be a sinking fund that I am not actively stuffing anymore um, I just wanted to share with you how much was in there, but this is not going to be one. I'm just going to save the money in here, kind of like I do my passport one. And it's just going to be in there if I need to buy ink. For moving forward, for future references, I'm just going to use the money that I make off of Etsy um, or any like business type um, dealings that I do that is going to get that income. So my son's birthday, he ended the year with 320 I only like to do $300 for their birthday, so he actually has 20 extra dollars moving on into 2023. Um, but that is what we ended the year with. I'm not going to stuff his um, birthday money anymore this year, so he's completely stuffed for the year with 323. And then our new brows, which was my microblading, that does have a total of 305. And in that fund, we are going to add for our brows just $20. I want to have this stuff by the by November. So I'm going to put $20 in there. Now that's going to get $325 for that, for my brows. Because I do want my brows done. Another fund that we have is my house fund. Now this is one that I am aggressively saving for this year because I wanna have 20K at the end of the year towards this fund. And in my house fund, I am putting a total of $370 towards that fund. So 370. So in here we now will have $11,518 towards our house fund. So we're going to add, this should be 11,000. I'm gonna add 370. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. One, two, three, four, five, 
50. Oh, I see what I did because I had some change in here. So we're going to make change for it. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So eleven, five, eighteen. I know this is what I did. I had um broken down. I didn't have a hundred. I had it broken down. So that is how much we have in our house fund, eleven thousand five hundred and eighteen dollars. We had eleven thousand one forty eight last year, and now we got eleven five one eight. So for my daughter's birthday, I realized that I'm still gonna be giving her money, um, whether she wants to use it on the on the boat or whatever. She's just gonna get a hundred and fifty dollars though. So right now we left twenty twenty one with ten dollars left over in there, and we're not going to stuff that because that's how much I would have put for this paycheck. So that one is that my savings challenges in my soft sinking funds. Bella, which I guess is my daughter, my little baby, she had $50 moving into the new year. I went ahead and just made her one whole envelope for herself instead of having the separate ones. So with that, we are going to just add $10 to her fund. And that's going to be 60 Then next up is Black Beauty. And in Black Beauty, which is my vehicle, I named my vehicle Black Beauty. So that is the name of this one. We have 1503 left. This is anything related to my car. So new tires, oil changes, um, warranties, car maintenance, um, the tags on the back of your car, my driver's license, anything related to my car comes out of this fund. So we have 1503 left over at the end of the year. I am going to just put $25 in here. And that's going to put us at 1528. So we're going to add 25. Three, four, five, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 25, 26, 27, 28. That's going to be in Black Beauty. So then up next, we have dental insurance. At the end of the year, dental insurance had 10, uh, not $10. It had 325 and I'm adding $10 this paycheck. So that's going to give us 335. That is the dental insurance for my kiddos. Holidays, which incorporates all holidays except for Christmas and birthdays. So any holiday that I want to buy something for. I've been debating on getting rid of this, but I honestly think I want to keep it because I want to keep Christmas and all those other holidays separate. That's just going to get $5. So that's going to get $10.19. I should have really looked at that because I could have just made that $10.20. But, oh well. So $10.19 for that. So we're not going to really aggressively save in this one. That's really what I do for my soft sinking funds. I don't really put too much money towards those. Kids clothes is going to be another one that, like, obviously the kids clothes, the um, clothing is probably going to be one that I just combine literally all in one envelope and not even separate it. Same thing with my uniforms, my clothing. Any type of clothing is probably just going to go into one envelope and call it a day. That's only getting $10. That had $246 at the end of 2021. And we're just going to add $10 towards it. And that's just $5 per child. They really don't need clothes, honestly. Neither one, none of us do, really. So that's that. And then military uniforms, like I said... That's going to combine everything. I'm not even putting anything in here, but it did have $200 left over at the end of the year. For my clothing, my clothing had $136. I am giving myself 
again this will probably be different when i come back for paycheck two um in a couple days so this will be 141 <clears throat> so you'll probably see some changes there and then moving along which is our now boarding now boarding it does have change in it again i told you i do use my card to buy certain stuff so this has 225 in it in 23 cents in the bank so i just added the 23 cents but you won't see it here obviously um and so for that now boarding we are going to put 120 dollars And that's going to be 345. And that's gonna have 345 in it. And then school items, AKA back to school or anything related to my kids' school. They did have 1,039 dollars. And we are just going to add fifty dollars towards that. So that's going to be ten eighty nine. And that is the last sinking fund we have. So those are all my soft sinking funds. I do have an announcement. My shop is opening on the fourteenth of January at um 0700 pacific standard time so actually um at the time of this video it'll be next week but when the video goes up today should be the 14th of january and i have to tell you my shop is open it opened up this morning so make sure you run over there grab you some stuff to get you started out on the new year i have some new releases in there i have some limited 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 um, 100 envelope challenge buy boxes see how well they do before I actually um, put a full amount I still do have a full-time job I still do am full-time in school as well I still am a mom but I do have a little bit of help at home so I can kind of slip away so that's that I wanted to throw that plug in there now I know I've taken up a lot of y'all time but looking back at our savings challenges and our sinking funds sinking funds specifically for 2021 we did save a total of eleven thousand three hundred and fifty eight dollars and twenty three cents so that is where we started 2020 with now with that being said we did just add eight hundred and eleven dollars so right now in our sinking funds as of 14 january when this video goes up we do have twelve thousand one hundred sixty nine dollars and twenty three cents my plan for this year is to use my sinking funds to save and not to use them so much to spend that was one of my feedbacks to myself going forward is i realized i saved all this money but i also spent it although it was spent on what i saved it for now i want to aggressively start saving more and actually spending a little bit less so we got all of our big trips out of the way we're not going to do that again but that was just a slap on the hand and just moving forward. That's just this whole budgeting thing. Um, so that's that. Thank you so much for coming with me into the new year. I hope each and every one of you have had a good two weeks. Happy, happy new year. I will see you in another video. I'm coming with consistent videos. Make sure you follow my Instagram. We got some stuff going on over there. And I just appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry the video was so long. I hope you enjoyed it. The next one will not be as long. I just felt like we had so much to talk about. And I miss talking to you all. So I will see you in another video. That is the end of this one. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And I will see y'all later. Bye.